Okay, bye. Hey, I hope your onions caramelize. I hope my onions caramelize. I hope we both saute our root vegetables to perfection. Slow cooked onions in loving pan. Okay. Sharing earphones is so romantic until you have to decide who gets Simon and who gets Garfunkel. I always get Garfunkel. Well, maybe my path to getting revenge wouldn't be so bloody and destructive if people didn't keep getting in my way to lecture me about how bloody and destructive a path it is. You take up a sword to kill one guy, and suddenly everyone thinks it's a smart idea to get on your nerves. Ugh. Come on, people. So, how does anyone ever have the time or energy? Executive Function George, who lives in a cave and accomplishes 10,000 tasks per day, is an outlier and should not be counted. How does he have time between eating spiders? The task is eating spiders. Now this is the quality content I come to Tumblr to see. Writing prompt. You are the owner of a magic backpack. Every morning you stick your hand in it, it contains exactly what you need for the day. One morning, it contains a gun. But isn't this the plot of Dora the Explorer? Swipe or ain't swiping no more. So today is a prank. I made a sheet music print out of Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, but replaced the name with Christmas Time Meditation and deleted the words. And I'm going to put it in with the church music and see if the pianist notices. He noticed, and now I can add yelled at by two preset ones to my list of accomplishments. Hey, listen, the two genders are yes or no, and I'm still non-binary, so call me maybe. Ah, Carly Day Jepsen. Oh, oh, what's that? Side character? You suddenly decide you want to outshine my main characters and take up a large portion of the plot? That's fine, that's fine. I suddenly have to rewrite my entire outline to make room for all the cool features you spontaneously manifested. Cool! Here, take my chapter POVs. I'll deal with the consequences later. Just... Fuck it! One thing about girls is that we'll get stoned and eat burgers. All three of them? How... How did you know I ate three burgers? Oh, wait, you meant the three weed-smoking girlfriends. Shit. Actually, strength is one of the funniest stats to dump. Like, oh... I'm terribly powerful and scary. My spells will knock you on your ass. I want to bend reality to my will. I lifted up a heavy piece of wood and broke my back. All right. No more cat boys. Cat men. 28-year-old, washed up, depressed cat man downing his fifth whiskey glass and his cat ears twitch depressedly. And then he pushes the empty glass forlornly off the counter. I... I have to draw this, aren't I? Writing prompt. There's a Japanese legend that says your present face is the face of the one you loved most in your past life. You find the secret to time travel and decide to go find your last self. This is actually a cute idea. It's like, oh, you like this face, this one? Yeah, you can try it out for a bit, buddy. Well, the dude I was in love with must have had a great personality. Really confused at how my logo changed to Kermit the Frog? Unless I'm starting to have hallucinations from lack of sleep. Still, mind fucked. Hey, I found someone's Tumblr logged onto this computer and all I did was change the icon. <laughs> the masculine urge to... Light kitchen appliances on fire! Everyone shut the fuck up, I found my soulmate. Yeah. My New Year's resolution is to be violently evil. <laughs> and I will do so right now. Andy? Put up the picture I attached to the zip file I sent. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it! Carpet and shower! Man, these old dudes come here early. Well, it's 5 1 a.m. Better unlock the door. Ah! 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 I am a fortune teller. Waggle dangle bing bang! My crystal ball is telling me you lack foresight and are impulsive. Is it because of this gold watch I bought? Sure, that'll be $10,000. Oh yeah, great, okay, I know this is a prank. I'm gonna open this can and a bunch of snake or glitter is gonna shoot out. Hmm? That was my dad's ashes. Hey Joe, man, you must have done something to make God mad. We don't know what, but come on, man. Just like, I don't know. I mean, you did something. 
Hey mom, are you gonna stop us from doing the milk crate challenge? No. Oh, hey Ash, did see you in my window. I'm just eating my Pokemon Master Cake. You know, the cake they give you when you're a Pokemon Master. I will be a Pokemon Master someday. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm an insane murder man! Stab! What? What the fuck? Hey, do you want to throw that away? Get back, harlot! Our business is done! I'm taking my seat and leaving! I'll take that seat if it's the last thing I do! Oh, hell yeah, man! Is that a milkshake? Eat a ducky mouse, Sue! <laughs> Ah, sweet, is it milkshake time? All right, it's been real, but I'm disappearing into the woods forever. You can't just fuck off into the woods, you need to stay here. But he could, and he did, and no one ever saw him again. Why can't you buy the pre-made furniture? Why do you need to assemble it? I like lifting the heavy parts and putting them together. Hey, bro, I like heavy shit and putting things together too. <laughs> Check it out, my drill has a set of Allen wrench bits. Holy shit. How do I compete with that? Hello, cat. I'm a big fan of yours. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Oh, it's me, the ghost of Christmas past! Y'all in my house touching my stuff! My stuff in my house! Don't mess with Texas! Don't mess with Texas! But da 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 I'm back. Let's do it. Blinking is like clapping for your eyes. Just remember that your eyelids are always applauding you and cheering you on, even if nobody else is. This website is so inspirational. You know, in theory, you could have your own party member be an improv weapon. I am using the bar to bash this guy's head in. Me thinks, therefore me am. Your reminder that Cookie Clicker is currently 40% off on Steam for two ninety nine naughty naughty dollars. Why are they naughty, though? Currency is inherently evil. It sure is. What others call a rebellious phase, I call the sudden realization I don't deserve to be treated like garbage. It has been said! Reblog if you're LGBT and have bad eyesight. Trying to prove a point to my oculist. I love how fast this is getting notes. We're all bonding over not being able to see shit. I guess you could say we're bonding over the fact that we can't see straight. <laughs> The audacity of people not being able to read my mind and create fan content for my stories that I haven't actually written yet? How dare they? Concept, by pan ace kids feeling safe and welcome in their community. Don't group bi and pan with ace. They're not comparable. They don't share the same type of issues and being ace doesn't make you LGBT. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? <sighs> Concept? By pan ace kids feeling safe and welcome in their community. You're absolutely right. Andy, I roll to Eldritch Blast this horse. Oh, sweet, D20. <laughs> Glow ink sacks on Minecraft glitter gel pens. And post. You know, if you ever trip and fall in public, get up, laugh to yourself, and say to anyone looking, Sorry, it's just been so long since I've inhabited a body. Yeah, I did that once. Fell over and saw a guy staring at me, got up and wandered past him, muttering, Too many legs, this body has too many legs. Must fix that in the next phase. Look on his face. Fucking priceless. Cosmic horror this, cosmic horror that. What about cosmic romance? What if the otherworldly being beyond your comprehension has a crush on you? You know, I, I have a thing that gets, that gets pretty close to that. Uh, have, have you checked out Cosmic Wonders yet? The link's right there in the comment pinned. You'll see it. And he put a giant hyper-realistic anime finger just shaking and pointing down. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. You're a thick one, Mr. Grinch. How oh, the Grinch stole your man. Hey, 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 hey! I'm fucking singing here. <clears throat> You're a thick one. Mr. Grinch, you've got butter in those cakes. You keep that as a shaking, cause girl, your turkey bakes, Mr. Grinch. 
You're a booty dropping shag carpet with the boom, boom, floppy ass quakes. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. You know, sometimes it shocks me too, but Google really is free and it's right there in your hands. You know, I love that this post is both a really wide-eyed appreciation for the amazing time we live in and a really sarcastic, passive-aggressive way to tell people to just fucking Google shit! This post feels like my heart. Please know that when I type a lone question mark, I am tilting my head slightly to the right and I'm staring at you blankly in confusion and curiosity. And if you need that in visuals, Andy... Put up the anime girl tilting gif. I'm sure there's like one out of 300 of the shows that exist with this kind of girl. Oh, you buy? Why don't you buy me some time with a distraction while I crack this safe, you fucking goon? You got it, boss. Makes out with a bank teller and his wife. Finds out my nemesis has a peanut allergy. Puts peanut oil in my water bottle. Goes to meet nemesis. Confesses love. Drinks peanut oil. Kisses them. I think I've won. Plot twist! They planned this. They aren't allergic to peanuts. And now we're dating. Oh, shit. Hey, uh, why don't Jedi's just turn off their opponent's lightsabers by force pressing the button? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing so hard because instead of an epic lightsaber fight, they'd just be aggressively switching them on and off. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, no you, no you, no you, no you. A person in the bathroom stall next to me dropped their phone and they had the calculator app open. What? What are you doing math in there for? Oh. Math room. Hey, look at me. You are never too old to nestle under a blanket and get so cozy and warm. Remember this. That bad sensory moment when you're trying to do something that requires a lot of focus and the people around you are talking loudly and you're just sitting there like... Mood. Hey, why stop writing roleplay fiction of band members and founding fathers? Why not go on to write roleplay fanfiction of your mutuals? Um... And Andy, stop me. Andy, stop me from saying something horrible. Just just stop me. Stop me. Please stop me. I, I need them to understand why it's a bad idea, but stop me! Some customers. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I have to ask you a question. I feel so foolish for not knowing this already. Please, please help me. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Other customers. Answer this question before I even ask her or I will kill you where you stand. Number one has worked in retail. And number two hasn't. Gay people will literally be in time loops. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. What did you do to me? Sorry, I've been so inactive. I was at the circus. You mean at home? In the future, you will stand at the grave of God, which I dug, weeping, and I will be the only creature you will be able to answer to. You will beg for death, but due to what you said today, I will deprive you of that luxury. Jesus Christ, somebody didn't like the Gotham. Looks at Sherlock. He's very small. Oh my, oh my God, it was me. Guys, this is the very first ever documented use of small. You're all a witness to language history here. The damage you have done to society. In this essay, I won't. Fuck you for coming to my TED talk. Oh look, I found a summary of the entire Harry Potter series. Ah oh, yes, of course. I haven't told you, said Dumbledore. That, <laughs> that's it. That that that's it. Every, everyone go home. Close it. Harry Potter's done. That, that's it. PM, not sure if you'll see this, but please say Tony Chalk Lonely in the thickest New York accent you could possibly muster. <clears throat> I. Hey! Hey, yo! You been to Tony's new chocolatier yet? Oh, yeah, man, I've been there. Tony's Chalk Lonely. It's the best fucking shit on the streets. Me taking yet another BuzzFeed quiz at 2 a.m. Please. Please tell me who I am! Oh, Lord BuzzFeed. Please! Grant me thy divine knowledge of the type of bread I am most similar to! Please! Content free. This is the future Tumblr wants. How... How do I... How do I read this?! So before we begin today's video, I gotta do one of those addendum things that I have to do. Apparently in the last video, I mistook the abbreviation RPF for roleplay fiction. 
As it turns out, by 50 some odd comments, I was wrong. It's real person fiction. To which I say, Andy, hand me the microphone. Ah, <coughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> it's still pretty weird! What are you doing? Why do you want to do this with your mutuals? They're people you know! Just stop it! See the grass? Go touch it! Okay, moving on. As I pondered a pronoun change, I began to think of gender less as a scale and more as a landscape. Some people are born in the mountains, while others are born by the sea. Some people are happy to live in a place they were born, while others must make a journey to reach the climate in which they can flourish and grow. Between the oceans and the mountains is a wild forest. That is where I want to make my home. My Uncle Bobby, genderqueer. That was beautiful. You know, you should be able to leave kudos on scientific studies. I liked your paper, dude. Keep at it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Doctor, dude. My brother tried to pick up a banana to make it look like he was talking on the phone, but all the bananas in the bunch came with it, and he just looked at me and went, Guess it's a conference call. Mmm, A++ recovery. Don't encourage him. <sighs> Girls go games, dress up games to a picker obsession pipeline. Hey. How dare. Turns out 2020 was tw- <laughs> Jesus Christ, my brain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's replay that one. Turns out 2000 was 20 years ago. Which is odd, because 1980 was also. The thing Gen Z really needs to understand is that no one older than them is ever going to be able to estimate time correctly because the millennium. The millennium will always be not that long ago. Everything since the millennium will always be, in some sense, new. It broke us, okay? It was too big and we'll never quite be able to deal. Was the real millennium bug inside us all along? Yes, and it created a generational 404. Writing prompt. There's a serial killer in your town. Unfortunately for them, you're a necromancer, and you have fun driving that maniac insane. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need this as a movie. I need this as a movie. If I have to write this movie, I'll do it. Andy, get Amy! We're writing this movie! Too many people prayed for the world to not end in 2012, and God panicked and started pulling out rough drafts. Bonus years, side quests, horror stories... He dug up his flop era and started posting it for all to see. You fangirled too hard and now Earth is running 10 seasons past a perfectly written ending, using unlikable background characters and resurrecting terrible plot lines. Congratulations! God! This absolutely isn't gonna happen, but imagine the Mario movie comes out and it turns out he can do a spot-on perfect Mario impression. And everyone on Tumblr gets so fucking mad. That would be pretty funny. Apollo's wedding is dodgeball. I hope you're ready for what you've unleashed. You know, gay people will go out in public looking like fucking Willy Wonka and be too scared to ask the waiter for a refill. Look, man, I don't like when waiters have to do the job that I used to do, okay? Okay. Hey, you wanna do math problems together? Why, do you, do you need help with something? Yes, I'm fucking failing. How the fuck does trigonometry work? Okay, my friend just pointed out to me that where Dr. Facilier's shadow is, the wallpaper changes into crossbones. Hold up, what the... Andy, zoom in. Zoom in more. Zoom in more. Put up a skeleton. Oh, shit! An entire video dedicated to the random noises I make. So...
Ooh. <gasps>